Well, happy Wednesday coming Community Church. Pastor Thomas here on the 1st of March. Hope that you enjoyed February because it's over. March is here, which means spring is literally around the corner. Spring comes this month. And I've made it no secret that I've often said that uh, spring should be the beginning of the new year. That uh, April 1 or March 1 or the middle of March, that should really be the beginning of the year because it is there that we see this new life that comes. The grass turns green, the trees begin to bud and and, and uh, leaf uh, out, so to speak. I'm not sure if that's the right term or not, but we're going to go with it. And it got me to thinking um, about one of my favorite verses in all the Bible, and it's Revelation 21.5. Uh, where Jesus says um, that he is making all things new. And so it made me wonder, what exactly is he talking about? What exactly is Jesus making new? So here in the month of March, here in our midweek devotional time, we're going to look at this idea of what Jesus is making new. And uh, I'm going to be recording these all in one fell swoop, so my shirt will say the same every week, but I'm just doing them all in one time uh, for the month. So... Uh, today, March 1st, I want to talk about um, the beginning of that passage from Revelation 21 and that Jesus is making creation new. So Revelation 21, I'm going to read again the first five verses and uh, then we'll talk a little bit about them. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. Let's pray. Jesus, thanks for this wonderful reminder that you are actively working, even today, making all things new. Would you help us to grasp the height and width and depth of that statement so that we would be encouraged that things will not always be the way that they are today. And we thank you. It's in your name, Lord Jesus, we ask this. Amen. So we see straight away, and we're going to look at each of these over the next few weeks, but straight away we see that there will be a new heaven and a new earth. And if we think back to the very, very beginning of Scripture, all the way back in Genesis chapter 1, we see that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And here in Revelation 21, we see that he is creating a new heaven and a new earth. That means that everything that is around us will be made new. The extent of the new creation truly will be all things, all of creation. Now, this has significant implications for us that we're going to look at over the next few weeks. But at its basic, what it means for us is that everything that we see will be made new. Our bodies, our minds, all of creation will be made new. Things will not stay the way that they are today. This should fill us with hope. And over the next few weeks, we're going to look closer at that hope. But for today, just know that when Jesus said he is making all things new, he literally means all things. So as we celebrate the arrival of spring, may we also celebrate the reminder and the realization that Jesus is making all things new. Well, I hope you're having a great week coming, church. We'll see you Sunday as we continue our study in Romans. Until we see you then, have a great rest of your week, guys. Love you. God bless.